Hi, this is Gina from Glam Harris. I'm actually at uh, my new salon, uh, a spot called Season Salon and Spa in Schaumburg. I'm here twice a week, and um, we just finished up working. And um, one of my um, my clients wanted to know how to use the clip-in extensions that she got from Glam Harris, and uh, we're going to show how to actually put them in, and then actually how to do once they're in the hair, how to do a couple different styles with them once they're in the hair. So um, what we're, this is just this is her hair. I round washed it and put a few soft curls in it. She actually just got a cut and color done today. Um, so this is this is what we're starting with, and um, she wants a little bit more thickness and a little bit more length. So um, I'm going to show you how I put them in the hair. Um, what comes with these extensions are three individual pieces. These actually go on the sides of the hair. They also have three pieces like this that are about two and a half inches long, um, and those go on the bottom. And then it comes with one longer set that's about five inches that goes in the in the middle of the head. And I just bought the, we, we purchased these and got these to match April's color. It's pretty close, and it is real hair. It has clips on them too, so um, you can actually color the hair. You can darken them, but you don't want to lighten them at all. It is real hair, but it is processed. You want to just try to match the colors as close as you can to the hair. So we didn't have to color them. Up. So I'm going to start at the very bottom of her hair. We're going to start like right at the base. So right in the nape area, we're going to open up the, the clips. We just open very simply like this. We open very simply like this, and we're going to clip them in the very bottom of her hair. So it's really secure. How's that feel? Nice and light. Okay. And then we're going to drop the hair. See how that color matches pretty well? So I'm going to use my clip again. I'm going to go right above the, the first piece we put in. Try to take a pretty neat uh, section. You can use the uh, Wonder Comb, which I love, um, to section it to make it like really neat if you want. Or you can use your fingers. Or you can use the end of the clip. I'm going to use my second piece and unclip it. I'm going to clip it right above the other one. How's that feel? Nice. Okay. So they're in there pretty secure. Um, I already washed these and let them air dry and put a soft foam extensions already. Um, if it doesn't feel secure, what you could actually do is put a couple bobby pins horizontally just to secure it a little bit more. Um, I use these on a lot of clients that are actually um, getting married, and I don't really put the bobby pins in ever on anybody, but if they don't feel secure, you, you can actually put the bobby pins in and just overlap them right on top of the extension. Of course, the bobby pin that matches the hair color. And we're going to drop the hair. So it's adding a little bit more thickness. We're going to go up one more section. I'm going to use the tip of her ears as a point of reference. Just make this section a little bit neater. Put the hair out of the way. It's really important to have a really neat, clean section. You can also put a little bit of hairspray right there if you want, um, if the hair feels too soft. Uh, my client just got her color done, so um, it does feel a little bit more rough, and I did use a root lifter on her hair, so that's another reason why it's not too soft. I'm going to use the longer piece. You don't have to use all the pieces at all. Like, if you don't want that much thick or that much thickness or length, um, you don't have to use all of them. I mean, there are some people that are probably on the yeah. Yeah. I'm just clipping them just like that. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. They're really comfortable. A lot of my clients wear them like all night long. Does that feel okay? Great. Okay. So now we're going to add them on the side. I'm going to add one of the single ones on the side. Again, I'm going to use her ear as a point of reference, so I'm going to put, the, put it in right above the ear. Oh, yeah. And that just fills in the sides a little bit. I'm going to add one more piece on the side. So I'm going to put it like right above the, the last one. So any thickness in length. So now we're going to go to the other side. 
we're going to use the comb and make a nice neat section. I'm taking it right above the ear. You want to just do it about an inch above the ear so it's comfortable. And I took it on an angle because that looks a little bit more natural than completely horizontal. Use the clip to clip the hair all the way. Just open up a little clip. That's her hair. She just, she just wanted to wear it down. Could spray it a little bit more. And she got a soft curl in it, but they could be straightened naturally, or you could do the curl in it where you wrap the hair um, around the curly end. So this is a big soft, soft curl.